Hey, it's Steve Spangler from the Spangler Effect and another cool science demo from the lab. Uh, this one is just a great optical illusion, so don't let the simplicity of it uh, deter you from doing it because it really, really is effective. Um, you, you do it like this, there's um, arcs. So I've cut these out of some cardboard or this plastic material. There's a yellow one, there's a red one, they're different lengths. The yellow one is the bigger of the two. So the yellow one you can kind of see when you compare them like that, yellow is bigger than the red. So as long as you can remember that the yellow one is bigger than the red one, and it's the same size, and, and I mean same size, color on each side, yellow is bigger than the red. The only thing you have to remember is that sometimes there's plastics that can stretch. And so like, for example, this, ah, that's perfect. So now this is stretching plastic. So now the red one is bigger than the yellow one. So that, no, wait just a second, I, if you stretch this again, here we go, the yellow one is now bigger than the red one. Hey, you don't even have to stretch it. The red one is now bigger than the yellow one. No, is that the yellow one bigger than the red? Or is the red bigger than the yellow? See, maybe your eyes have played a trick on you. Maybe if I turn it over like this, and we put them uh, inside to inside, well, they almost look like they're the same. And now this sits inside of here like this, and you would almost swear that they're absolutely the same. Yet when you separate them, again, as I told you at the beginning, the yellow one is bigger than the red one. All right, so that's the basic demonstration. Now you can change it and do some pretty cool things with this, but it's the classic magic arcs, okay? So uh, in order to, to make this, you can make small little sets. For example, paper plate is great. You can just kind of cut the edge off of a paper plate and then cut arcs out of there. And so you have a small little set to work with. Uh, we made these a long, long time ago, but you just need to have two of them that are the, uh, the same size. Now, this is a, a total comparison demonstration. So look at what happens. I set you up at the beginning by not picking them up like this. So they weren't sitting on the table, so they're all together. They were sitting purposely like this. I picked them up and I said, I have a yellow arc, and notice I held this one here, red. So no comparison just yet. A yellow one and a red one, and just pretty free with it. And I said to you to plant the seed, the yellow one is bigger than the red one, because I cut it that way, and I compared it like this. So here is the comparison. This line here, the top line here, and the optical illusion takes place because the top line here is being compared against the bottom line here. It's an unequal comparison and an unfair comparison. So watch what happens. When those two lines, it totally looks like it's bigger. Now I can put it over here if I want to or put it this way. You could if we were top down, see what it looks like here on the table, something like this. It looks pretty dramatic that way as well. But as you're holding it, the yellow one looks bigger than the red. Then of course I went through this baloney where I said, now this is a stretchable plastic. And you have to be careful. People will really think it's stretchable plastic. You go like this, ah, stretchable plastic, and here we go. Now the red one, of course, is bigger than the yellow. Now I purposely turned them around because I've had people or students say or kids say, oh, it's just a different color on the other side and you're switching it. So because it looks pretty good. So the red one, of course, in this comparison is bigger than the yellow. Then the yellow is bigger than the red. So imagine what you could do with this. Um, we're just using you know, the two different colors for the comparison, but I think the message could be a cool one that in, in a science experiment, I've got to make sure that I'm comparing the correct things, right? If, I'm, if I've got an unfair comparison taking place, it's easy to come to a conclusion that you shouldn't come to, right? You could actually put uh, messages on the outside. So we've seen people in business, trainers uh, in business use this. They may put uh, uh, like marketing on this one here and finance on this one here. And you go, which is the more important part of the project, finance or marketing? It just depends on your perspective, which one's the most important, leadership or uh, leaders or followers, whatever it might be. So nice little message could go for whatever comparison that you're trying to, uh, uh, to do. Um, I also think this is uh, kind of fun as well. You can find other objects that are like this. If you head out to your favorite star, um, uh, coffee place, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, and you find these little uh, uh, cup holders, you know, the, the little sleeves that are there. If you open up a sleeve like this, and if I can do it without tearing it, ah, perfect. Look at this. It makes this wonderful impromptu arc. Got it? So now what a great comparison. So this one, it doesn't curve as much as I'd really like it, but up to the other one here, so if we hold it here like this and open this one, ah, if I wouldn't tear it, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, take a look at this. So now for a comparison, if you take a look here, let me 
uh, open this up. So now, yeah, as we're taking a look at it, it does look like one is bigger than the other one. So it's kind of fun just as a little impromptu piece as well if you're just sitting there and trying to do something with a comparison, which is fantastic. Bananas are always wonderful. So if you hold up two bananas in the supermarket and, and compare, somebody will always come to you if you're holding bananas and trying to compare them. And somebody will say, can I help you? And you say, yeah, I always buy the smaller bananas. And when I get home, I just stretch them like this. And then you switch it. And you say, because they did, they're a little bit bigger. And so I, it's just, again, baloney. But the last part I want to share with you is, look, do the comparison like this and say, you know what? I'm sorry. The red one needs to be the same as the yellow one here. Let me mark it. That's the one right there. So here, let's take and let's just cut it like this. As soon as you cut the arc, it's over. Because now, while it looked like you made the comparison the same way, as soon as you switch it, look at this. Bam, it really throws it off. Oh my gosh, here, look at this. I thought, here, let me, let me make those equal. So that should be equal right there. Let me cut it just like this. And so sometimes I'll have a student or if somebody's helping me, they just reach up and they do the cutting. And then of course, look at this, now we're unequal. And so you keep on going back and forth until this one gets cut and finally that one gets cut and you, kind of, you come down to absolutely nothing at all and uh, we don't have an equal comparison at all. So a simple optical illusion, a great way to build in a message with a comparison and uh, I think a wonderful thing for us to be able to share with students about how important you it's and how easy it is to arrive at a false conclusion conclusion based on a weird perception. As always, you can find all of these cool things at stevespanglerscience.com. You can visit our experiments in the lab, browse the store for the latest products, and uh, be sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't to this channel and our other channel, Six Science and Spangler Science TV. As always, do everything possible to make science fun.